Hi guys, how are you all doing? Welcome back to my channel. I hope everything is going well with you guys. Um, and as you all can see in the title, today we are here to talk about empties. Um, these are all the products that I have used up in the month of January and beginning early parts of February. Okay? Um, and just to let you know, it doesn't mean that I use, I started using all of these products in January and February. I've been using them throughout the end, almost the entire year of 2016. They just all happen to finish within the same time frame of January, beginning of February. All right. So anyhow, let's get started because this is going to be a long, long, long video. So the very first thing I pull out, you've seen this in many a videos, so I really don't need to go on about it. This is the Crest Pro Health Multi-Protection Alcohol-Free mouthwash it's the only one i use it's the only one i'm comfortable using i do not like i've tried other ones and they have failed me um but this is the only one i feel comfortable using so yes i have repurchased and yes i will be repurchasing in the future um this product it was a fail I bought this um, as the spray. This is the Saint Ives Fresh Hydration Lotion, and it says it feels light and fresh on the skin, and it says naturally indulgent, and this says 100% natural moisturizer. This did absolutely nothing for my skin. It went in my skin and it sink, sank in right away, but there was absolutely zero moisture at all in my skin when I used this. So I say, if you see this, stay far, far away from it, especially if you're very, very dry skinned like I am all over the body. Stay very, very far away from this. Stay very far away. It was a huge fail and a huge, huge, huge letdown. No ma'am. The next thing that I finished up, you guys have heard me talk about this to death on my channel as well. This is my very, very favorite primer, meant for dry skin. This is the Marc Jacobs Invisible Undercover Perfecting Coconut Face Primer. Um, this is something that I loved. It moisturized, it kept the skin nice and soft, and the foundation applied smoothly on top of this primer. I didn't need to spray on um, another primer water, up, which I do with all my other primers now. Um, I didn't need to do that with this. I didn't need that extra step. Um, I will definitely be repurchasing, but not anytime soon. Um, because it's rather expensive. And I am right now on a no buy for the next three months until April of 2017. I am on a zero buy. So I will be doing no hauls on my channel. I did just film a, film a haul of products that I have been collecting since January. And that will be my final haul until April of 2017 so February March and April so three months no buying absolutely zero buys and I explained why in that video I will link it up here so if you want to watch it um, the link is right here okay and you can go ahead and watch it but this primer was my all-time favorite primer will definitely repurchase after my no buy is done then my only problem with it is the price it's sixty dollars 
$60 but I love it and it did the job and I wanted to hold on to it but it was starting to separate because it's a water-based primer so it was starting to separate and every time I went to use it I had to shake it up so with it being a water-based primer the only thing again the price is you can't hold on to it for very very long you do have to use it within the time frame that it does say it is supposed to be used for okay so that's my only thing is the price point and the fact that you have to work and use it so quickly because of the fact that it's water-based other than that I really do like that primer next thing that I pull out of here is the Diamond and Rubies uh, perfume by Elizabeth Taylor. There is a little bit left in there but I really cannot get it out um, and I did not like this scent at all. Um, it was a gift from a few years ago. Um, I didn't purchase it. Someone else did purchase it for me as I said. I used it mostly as a room spray in order to get, in order to get rid of it because it was just sitting there not being used. I never used it on my body. I used it a couple of times and my body chemistry just didn't like it at all. So I used it as a room spray to finish it off. And no, it will not be repurchased ever again. I will not repurchase this. So that was another fail for me. The next thing that I finished off is this body lotion, which is the Wild Madagascar Shea and Vitamin Body Lotion from Bath & Body Works. I did like this, um, but I this line for me seems to not work so I started buying the ultra shade line from Bath and Body Works and that seems to work a little bit better because they're thicker and they're meant to be a lot more moisturizing for my skin so will not buy be buying the body lotion line anymore I'll be buying the ultra shade lotion line from Bath and Body Works from now on but if you don't need something that thick, I do recommend this for you. Um, if you don't need something as thick as the Ultra Shade line. But for me personally, this, this, this line doesn't really do the trick anymore. The next thing that I pull out of here, actually. Um, you guys have seen me or heard me talk about this mask in many of videos of mine. This is the Peter Thomas Roth um, Pumpkin Enzyme Mask. I loved this stuff so much. It cleaned out my pores so much. Like I absolutely loved it. It was amazing. And I would definitely repurchase. But the thing is, um, the big bottle is $92. So that is a hefty investment for one face mask. So for now, I'll stick to my sheet mask and whatnot because they're a little bit cheaper. But I'll probably end up investing in this if I start missing it. Um, when, if none of the other sheet masks work at all. But I will definitely invest in it maybe later on. But just not right now. Not right now at all. The next thing that I finished, um, I did finish this in January and I never really got the hype about this. It's so hyped up on YouTube and I never really got the hype on this product until I bought it and tried it for myself for the very first time this year. Oh my god, the hype is so real. <sighs> Y'all. The scent on this 
is amazing. The throw on this, amazing. The burn time on this, amazing. Perfect, perfect, perfect fall and Christmas season candle. I absolutely loved this scent. Oh my god, when Bath and Body Works comes out with this again for 2017, I'm going to stock up on this because I only bought one because I wasn't sure if I would like it, but yeah, Mama like. Mama likes this one. I will definitely, definitely be repurchasing this one as well. The next one that I pick up is a Yankee candle that I got at Winners, and this is um, in their scent Christmas cookies. I didn't like it that much, actually. <laughs> I really, really, truly did not like it. Scent? No, I don't recommend it. I do not recommend it. And on top of that, it took so long to burn. I didn't finish burning this until in the middle of January because I wanted to get my money's worth. I mean, from I only paid $14.99, so from $24.99 to $14.99, that is a significant amount, uh, amount of savings right there, which I'm glad I didn't pay the full price for it. But, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, no, no, stay far away. Stay far away from that. The next thing that I pick up out of here is the this hand soap. This is the dollar store dollar store line. I picked this up from Dollarama. This is the fruit scents, country fresh, summer lavender, um, deep cleansing hand soap. So as I said. I didn't like the Bath and Body Works deep cleansing hand soaps, and I definitely do not like the Dollar Store deep cleansing hand soap. So, will not be repurchasing. I just don't like the feeling of the beads on my skin. It just feels really weird and really gross. So, I will not be repurchasing it. So, yeah, no. This. I absolutely love the Dove dry spray, but I hated the fact that it was the unscented one. That is the only thing that I hated about it. It was unscented. I didn't even know that it was there. Um, I mean, and that is the point of it, but I like scent. Um, the scent helps me to know that I did spray something under here. It really does help me to know that I sprayed something under there. But I didn't like the fact that this was the unscented version. And that's the only thing I didn't like about it at all. Other than that, I loved everything else. So I will definitely repurchase, but not the unscented one. So the green cap the one with the green cap is the unscented one so if you know that you like to smell and know that something is under here don't purchase the green cap purchase any other color but the green cap because the green cap one is the unscented version of that unless you're sensitive to scent then you purchase the green cap one. But if you're not sensitive to scent and you like to smell the fact that you've sprayed something on your underarm and you know it's there, don't purchase that one because you won't be able to tell at all. The next thing that I have finished out of here is the Moroc is this. And this is the Moroccan Oil Intense Hydrating Mask. And this is a deep conditioner for your hair. And I absolutely loved it. 
and will repurchase but again it was $30 which is really 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 expensive um so but I do have a backup of the one with the orange cap so I'll be using that one until it is done and then at that time I'll probably end up going out and repurchasing these but I definitely loved it definitely recommend it it definitely moisturizes the hair when you deep condition with it it leaves the hair moisturized for a good good couple of days at least three to four days before you need to you feel the need to deep condition again <clears throat> As I'm a person, I deep condition at least every week. I deep condition once a week in order to keep moisture in my hair. Um, especially because I am going on this um, protective styling kick right now. Because my hair seems to have stalled in its growth. My natural hair has seems to have stalled in its growth. And ever since I have been braiding my hair and going and putting it in the protective style it seems to have been growing back at a consistent basis lately so I'm gonna keep this protective style in but I do deep condition my hair at least once a week every week and this mask was amazing to moisturize my scalp for a good three to four days before I felt the need to deep condition my hair again so I definitely recommend it you go out and get it for yourself the next thing that I pull out of here this was um, a homemade body scrub that I made with brown sugar and olive oil I will definitely be making it again because it did such wonders on my skin and I really loved it and I really do miss it and will definitely be making it again. So all it is is one part olive oil to two to about one to two cups of brown sugar and you mix it in. You can add in essential oil if you want to. I don't. Um, but you can if you want to so one part olive oil to maybe one to two cups of brown sugar and that is your body scrub and it it takes off the dead skin it leaves your skin moisturized and it it's it's amazing so and it's all natural as well so that's what I do sometimes when I don't feel like using the store-bought ones, I, I make that and I'm good to go for the next month or so. Because I like to scrub at least once a week, every week, in order to get the dead skin off my body. The next scrub that I pull out is this one. This is also the Dollar Store brand of body scrub. And this is the Fruits and Flowers uh, Apricot Face and Body Scrub. It says it contains natural exfoliants and apricot extract. No. Don't get it. You see this? Run from it. Run very far away from it. I mean, I did use it up because I spent my money on it. I like to get my money's worth, even though it was only $3. I still like to get my $3 worth. So, yes, I did use it up. Um, as you can see, it's empty. So, yes, I did use it up. And as I said, I like to get my money's worth. No matter how much I spent on an item, I like to get my money's worth. Okay? Um, but stay far away from it it does nothing absolutely nothing mm -mm. absolutely nothing especially if you're dressed in. it does nothing for you so yeah stay far 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 away from this scrub right here 
Um, the next thing that I pull out of here is an avocado face mask that I bought from the face shop and this was an if I remember correctly, I think this was moisturizing and I think I did like it. The only reason I don't remember is because I used it in the beginning parts of January. So it was very hard for me to try and remember that far back. To see, and we're what at February 10th right now so it's very hard for me to remember from that very far back if I liked it or not but I think I did otherwise it like it would be in here either way if I didn't like it but so far I think I did I think I did like it um, next time what I'm going to do is I'll probably just write a note at the back or something to remind myself to see if I liked it or not but I I honestly I think I did like this mask this face mask I really really think I did and this was my one of the very first times I've tried a face mask and I really enjoyed using it so I I will definitely go out and repurchase it again um to try it again to see if i remember liking it but yes i i did like i think i did like it i really think i did the next thing that i pull out of here are two wallflowers now this one i seem to have lost the tag for it so i cannot remember what scent it is and i am not even going to try and remember by the smell because yeah no i like to keep the tags like this one to remind me of the scent and and what the name of it was yeah, but yes it definitely was a smell good and feel good scent um from what i am getting out of here it did smell good and it did keep my bathroom nice and uh, fresh if you know what i mean because i mostly kept these in the bathroom because that's the only place you can't really keep a candle because the candle will be unattended and anything can happen especially when you have two small children around okay so this scent is mahogany teakwood oh this is another scent that gets so much hype here on the whitey but I never wanted to buy it because the, the way that it was described was that it was of a very manly scent, like musky. And I do not like musky scents at all. I am not someone who likes musky scents. So I avoided this scent forever and a day. But when I went to Bath and Body Works, I was running out of scents to try because I've pretty much bought almost all of them and tried almost all of them. Let me tell you, this kept my bathroom for the entire 30 days smelling so good. I could smell this. From the moment I walked in my door, like to enter into my apartment, I could literally open the door and this is the very first thing I am smelling, is mahogany teakwood. And I absolutely love the scent of it. It's made my the entire apartment smell very, very nice very nice and I will definitely be repurchasing mahogany teakwood forever and a day because I absolutely loved it and I recommend it so yeah go purchase mahogany teakwood uh, the next thing in here is one last body scrub and this is the lemon pomegranate cream shea butter body scrub from bath and body works and i used up i bought this in the beginning of january i did a haul where i bought all the other stuff again the haul will be linked 
here or in the description box um, and this was one of them this is not in the haul because as I drop it this is not in the haul because it was in my empties bin obviously it's the first one I used and it's the first one that I completely finished up and I absolutely loved it it was amazing it kept my body nice and supple and I will definitely be repurchasing this one maybe sometime later on down in the future but not right now but I'll definitely definitely repurchase so I recommend if you're on the hunt for a body scrub to get this one the next few items in here are makeup empties and I wanted to do those last because they are the least products I have which are makeup empties. I have one disappointment product in here. I bought this on the Sephora sale site and I never got the opportunity to use I'm probably making you guys dizzy by continuously swinging on my chair like that. Um, so I do apologize for that. Okay? My fault. I'm sorry. I need to stop because I'm probably making y'all dizzy by doing that. But this is a disappointing product. Um, and this gets a lot of rave here on the YT as well. This is the Sephora Formula X effects nail color polish and this is um in the color destiny i bought this off on the sale part of sephora because it was on sale for seven dollars um and i wanted to give it a try but as you can see it separated and i haven't even i had the opportunity to try it and I've only had it for one month because I ordered it in December of 2016 so this was a disappointment for me a waste of seven dollars uh, from Sephora so I will not be buying any more nail polishes from Sephora from their sale site because that probably means that it has been sitting on the shelf for a long time and they want to get rid of it so they put it on the sale site for half the price of what it was before because the full price of this is $14 and I paid $7 for it so very very disappointed will not be repurchasing now for the makeup items it's covered in here so i've talked you guys to death about this foundation my very very favorite foundation of all time and this is the makeup forever ultra hd foundation and i am in the color y445 I do have a backup of this but because I used this so much in 2016 I'm taking a break and I am using a, another foundation right now which is the L'Oreal one um, of which I'm trying to use up as well so I'm taking a break from it but I do love it I did repurchase it and I will continue to forever and a day repurchase this very sad foundation the next thing that I just finished and I just finished this today um, this is like my third tube of this concealer I finished two of them in 2016 this is the third one that I bought in 2016 and I've now finished it in 2017. Um, one tip, when you think you're done, when you go and you go to dip and the stopper is still in there, trust me, you are not done. 
take out the stopper, take a tweezer, lift up the stopper and pull it up and you have at least another good two months of use left in the bottle after you've taken out the stopper. That's two months of wasted money that you're throwing out if you do not take out the stopper to use up as much product as possible in this and this is expensive this is like $22 for a concealer but it is my favorite concealer I've talked to you guys about it to death but as I said my one tip is to get an extra two months of use out of it take out the stopper out of this in order to get an extra month and a half to two months of use and that's what I've been doing ever since my second bottle my first bottle I threw away because I I thought it was done but then I watched um, another video of how to take out the stopper out of these and I did that and I had another two months and I did it with this one and I also had another two months so I do get the full usage out of this for the price that I spent for it okay so that's a that's a tip that I have for you take out the stopper and then go ahead and use that the very last makeup item, there's still a little tiny bit of product in here, but I'm calling it quits because the brush that I was using or any brush just will not um, pick up any more product and the brush was getting ruined. So I'm calling it quits for this product is this right here. This is my the this is the mac prep and prime color correcting compact so this is what i use to um set my concealer when i put down the make the when i put down this concealer or any other concealer as a matter of fact this is what I used to set my concealer and set my under eye area and my T-zone area basically. So this is what I used and as I said I'm calling it quits because my brush just was getting ruined for me to try and pick up any more product and I have repressed this at least three times. Um, in the year of 2017 to get as far as I did get so I'm basically calling it quits on this one because I believe I did get my money's worth out of it um, but yeah anyhow guys that is it oh whoops I have a beauty blender this is the pink one um it's done it's hard it won't expand anymore and when i go to it's just really hard so it's done um so no more and uh, that's pretty much it for that beauty blender they're good for a they're good for about three months anyhow so that's as long as you're supposed to use them for is three months but I have used them for up to five months as long as you clean them when they're supposed to be cleaned but anyhow guys that is it for my empties video as you can see the bin is empty it is dirty it needs to be cleaned and it will be washed and cleaned and I need to go and throw all of these in the recycle bin okay that is it once again for this empties video for january and mid february of 2017 thank you so much for watching please do not forget to comment subscribe and hit the thumbs up button and i will see you all in the next video okay 
Thanks so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye guys! Um, and you can, uh, it, it will go well with any eye look that you create. And the last one from the Too Faced Melted line is a Chihuahua. And Chihuahua is a peachy undertoned lip. It has more of a peachy undertone to it. And that's Chihuahua right there. So it, as I said, it has more of a peachy undertone to it. Again, a very 